What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna to be going over a full mobility routine from everything from your ankles all the way up to your head and neck. We're gonna go through every little detail that we can trying to get you guys moving better and feeling better. These are things that you guys can do daily, in the morning, at night, before you go to bed, before your workouts. You can take bits and pieces of them, but this is my full mobility drill that I do every day. It takes me about a good 10 minutes, but it's great. It's gonna have you feeling good. So let's jump right into this. Okay guys, so we're gonna be starting with the ankle. Everything we're gonna be doing is taking our joint through a full range of motion. So we're gonna be starting with that ankle and we're gonna be starting pushing that foot down as much as you can into plantar flexion. And then we're gonna be rotating in as much as we can and lifting as high as we can towards our face into dorsiflexion. And then we're gonna be going out as much as we can and then back down. So we're creating that full circle. After you finish that direction, you can go in the opposite direction. So again, we can start with plantar flexion, but instead of rotating in into inversion, we can go eversion, reaching out as much as we can, then back into dorsiflexion as much as we can, rotating back in and then back down. So you guys can try these three to four each side. That's usually what I do. I take my time and I rotate through that full range of motion. Now we're gonna be going into knee car. So we went ankle right up to the knee. So when we do our knee, this is really our tibia bone that we're trying to shift internally and externally as much as we can. So I like to sit down on something, put my heel on the ground, and I find my tibia bone with my fingers. I can find that right under my knee there. And I'm just gonna to try to put my mind to that area of my body without moving my ankle or my hip and I'm gonna rotate as much as I can. This is probably the hardest one we're gonna do today, so you really gotta get that mind-body connection going, and we're just gonna rotate as you see here. So again, with these, we wanna make sure we're not getting that hip involved or the ankle as much, so you can use your hands on your thigh, you can again have your fingers where we had them before, or you can just kinda of sit up and really try to focus, get yourself in a quiet space, that's why I love to do these in the morning when nobody's really bothering me, I'm not on my phone, and I could really put my mind to that joint of our body and move it. That's what we're doing, mobility for those joints. Okay, so we got the ankle and knee, we're moving up to our hip joint now and we're gonna be working our knee cars. Again, three to five reps each side is usually what I kinda do. We're gonna start in that external rotation. You can make sure you're holding on to something to brace yourself. You're gonna open up and then we're gonna get into internal rotation after you open. So we open, internal rotation, all the way around to our side. Now, we're gonna go into hip extension, bringing the hip back, try not to fall forward when you do that. You're gonna extend, after you extend, we reverse the motion. We come all the way back from internal, back to external. So again, as you guys are doing all these mobility drills for any of these joints, these are supposed to be nice and smooth. We don't wanna kinda search for too many hard ranges of motion right now. These are supposed to be nice and light and just teach your body to glide through the range of motion that you have. Eventually, we can get into pushing these motions a little harder, but these are all supposed to be nice and smooth as limiting as you can with everything else so you don't compensate and just move that joint that we're focusing on. Moving from the hips up to our entire spine now. So we're gonna be doing a full spinal mobility drill. So let's go right into it. Again, try to start with your feet a little wider so we don't compensate too much with our hips. So we're gonna cross our arms or you can hold like a pillow or a foam roller or something at your chest and you're gonna start with flexion of your spine which is simply just rounding our spine and trying to tuck our core backwards. So we're gonna get down as much as we can, again, without pushing the butt back. We're gonna crunch down, and after we've crunched down, we're gonna rotate. So we're gonna pick a direction to rotate to. So if I'm rotating towards my right side, I'm gonna get as far as I can, and then I'm gonna take my right shoulder and tilt it over my back, again, without the hips going forward now, tilt it over my shoulder and get into spinal extension. Slow as I can without just reaching with our neck. We wanna slowly just reach that spine around, then get to rotation on our left side, and then back down to flexion, all the way centered. So again, we wanna make sure we're doing the opposite side as well. So if we rotate it to our right, make sure after you finish that full uh, spinal car, now we go towards the left with that rotation and you could follow along in this direction. Again, nice and smooth as you go through. We're not trying to search through too many hard ranges of motion. Nice and smooth and get that back moving so you feel good for your day. 
So moving from our back, we're gonna be going to our elbows now. Our elbows are joints as well, so we're gonna move these guys right now. We're gonna start with supination, opening up as much as we can. See how I rotate in this open position? And then I'm gonna just pull them up all the way, kind of as high as I can. But as I do this, I wanna think about taking my pinky and I wanna bring it almost towards the outside part of my bicep. Yes, a lot of this may come from the wrist, but think about this just coming from your forearm and elbow rotating. So as I come up, I'm gonna rotate here, and then now I'm gonna go into pronation, which is rotating the forearms and the elbow joint downward this way, not just my wrist. Forearm and elbow, and I rotate all the way down. And again, supination, up, and then pronation down. You see how smooth this can get? And again, three to five reps each side. You can do one at a time or you can do both together just like that. Okay, moving into shoulder joint now. We're gonna be moving our shoulder through our full range of motion. Again, holding on to something, anything that you have in your room or whatever, and we're gonna start with external rotation of the shoulder. So I opened up that whole shoulder joint, and now I'm gonna be coming across the body without bending this elbow as best I can. Some of you guys may feel this break. If not, just go through this nice and light. Now we're getting into flexion of the shoulder. You wanna reach as high as you can, and then from here, this gets a little complicated when we rotate, but now we're gonna be rotating internally and reaching behind us into shoulder extension. After we've gotten there, we reverse the motion, just like we've done with the other ones. We're gonna go back into extension, reaching behind us, right? And then we're gonna go back into external rotation, rotating back, getting into shoulder flexion overhead, and then we really get into external rotation, opening up that shoulder, as we come down. Okay, we finished the shoulder, we made it to the final one, we're gonna hit neck cars now. So again, three to five each side. This is basically the same motion as the spinal one we did, but with just our neck. So we're gonna again, get everything nice and stable. We're gonna start with flexion of the neck, tucking our chin down, and then we're gonna pick a direction to rotate. So I'm gonna start with my left, I'm gonna rotate as much as I can, all the way, looking at the wall next to me, and then I'm gonna take my ear, and I'm gonna tilt it, over my shoulder into neck extension. Nice and slow when you do this. If you have any pain, don't push through that pain. Kind of work around it. Then you're gonna rotate to the other side and then you're gonna finish back down to where we started into flexion. Okay guys, that's it. It's as simple as that. Try to hit every single one of these. I love doing them in the morning. It gets me feeling good. If you wanna just take a few of those and add them to your pre-workout or cool downs, that's also great as well. It's just mobility for our joints. So take your time, start to learn by moving them slowly in that nice smooth fashion. You want them to feel like they're gliding. I would do three to five reps of each direction on both joints if you're doing your hips or your elbows or shoulders. If you're just doing your neck, do three to five each direction, but make sure you're moving smooth and find what works for you if it's in the morning if it's at night and again pick and choose if you need to before or after your workouts i hope this helps you guys if you liked it let me know i hope it helps